Amazon is starting Black Friday early, Square prepares to go public, leaked Lyft financials, and more. It's Wednesday, November 18th, and this is Crunch Report. I'm Katie Roof, and for Sarah Lane, and Black Friday is coming early this year for Amazon fans. The company announced that it will be starting its holiday deals this Friday the 20th. That's Christmas shopping before eating the turkey. Amazon says it will offer eight days of discounts with 10 extra special deals at midnight on Thanksgiving. Now let's just hope the deals are better than what they had on Prime Day. Facebook introduced a tool called Fundraisers that allows nonprofits to raise money on the social media site. Charitable organizations will be able to create pages where they can share their mission and collect funds. There's also an improved donate button that can be featured on posts and pages, which Facebook hopes will drive more spontaneous giving. The project is currently in beta with 37 organizations, including the National Multiple Sclerosis Society and the World Wildlife Fund. Facebook will make the tools available to other U.S. nonprofits sometime next year. And it's a huge day for tech IPOs. Square, Match, and Mimecast are all pricing their shares tonight and will begin trading tomorrow. Investors will be watching the performance as a bellwether for future IPOs. Box, Etsy, and some of this year's other tech IPOs have had a rough go in the public markets. The Dow was up 247 points today on interest rate news, so hopefully some of that market momentum will continue into tomorrow. Match and Mimecast are listing on the NASDAQ, while Square will list on the New York Stock Exchange. Some leaked financial documents from Lyft got posted on Bloomberg.com, and it looks like the Uber competitor lost $127 million on $47 million in revenue in the first half of 2015. Growing pains. The news comes as the ride-hailing startup is raising a new round of financing that could value the company at over $4 billion. Well, it definitely looks like they'll be needing the money. If you're like me, you've probably had your Apple Watch slide off its charger. But good news, because Apple has now released its own watch charging dock. And unlike the unofficial Apple Watch charging docks out there, it doesn't require an inserted Apple Watch cable. The charging puck is built into the dock. The new accessory retails for a pricey $79, and I need one of these right now. That's the report for today. I'm Katie Roof, in for Sarah Lane. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.